this freaking pimple. I might as well introduce it to you guys because it is so big that. <laughs> Officially, my first vlog. I'm redoing pretty much my YouTube channel to deliver you guys the best content possible. So, what's going on today? Today, I will be working out around 10, 10 30 ish. Gonna whip up some breakfast now. Then, I'm going to do some back end work, writing programs, and then I will have a boot camp tonight around 6. <laughs> As you can see, my hair looks pretty messy. Oh, and the pimple is still there. All right, every morning non-negotiable is to set the bed. A lot of people ask what hair product I use. Um, I use Axe Messy Look. Morning pills, fish oil, and then BioFlex because my joints hurt. Oh, secret. I use hairspray for my hair. Yeah. Curve makes me smell delicious to the ladies. At night, I do magnesium with my evening tea. All right, so heading over to the gym, going to get a workout in. There's gonna be some bench pressing, uh, some skull crushers, and pretty much just mostly upper body. My knee's kind of banged up. There is squats program, but I'm going to modify and just do some more uh, auxiliary movements, maybe some farmer carries, getting some dips, etc. Um, <laughs> funny story, I'm one of those guys who will drive my car until I literally have that zero miles to empty sign on there. Right now I'm at 80, which is cool, so I know that I have, you know, at least a couple more trips before I'm forced to go to the gas station. So there's the two kind of people in the world. There are the people who when they're at halfway point in the gas tank, they refill that bitch up, and then there's people like me who are like, they see the zero sign and they know how far their car can push. Don't come around here no more. All right, a little rant during the workout. There are some people who want to get super strong, yet they want to lose a lot of weight. So it's kind of like people who want to do weightlifting and also people who want to do CrossFit. Now, if you want to become the best in either one of those or, or, or one specific sport, you have to put all your time and training into one. Okay, so I ran into this problem when I wanted to be a weightlifter and I was still doing CrossFit, trying to do both. But guess what? My weightlifting numbers weren't getting where they wanted to be. My CrossFit Metcons weren't where they should have been. So you have to make the decision which path are you going to take. Now, if you do do both, okay, there is a way to increase, but your progress is not going to be as fast as it would be if you picked one or the other. All right, so a lot of clients that I deal with, they want to get really strong, they, they want to be ripped. Well, guess what? Those are two different programs uh, in order to get the max amount of results in each one of those avenues. Now, if you want to get ripped over a year while increasing your strength, yes, that is manageable. But if you're trying to put 30 pounds in your bench in you know, three months, you're going to have to get on a specific program that does that. So figure out your goals, people. I got too many people who I talk to who don't even know their goals or what they're training for. Finished up a 16 minute AMREP style workout for conditioning. It was five burpees, 10 swings, guys 53, girls 35, Russian swings, just at the chin level, 15 sit ups, and then a farmer carry. I use 85 pounds, girls use 55 pounds. Uh, every time you complete a round though, the burpees will go up by two and the swings will go up by two. The sit ups stay the same, as well as the farmer carry got to a round. Uh, 17 reps. What's up, buddy? 
for lunch we have pulled chicken, rice, beans, corn. That'll come out in my crop. And All right, so uh, it is about 5.05 .05 p.m. now. I just got done meditating for 20 minutes. It was very difficult for me to relax myself because I feel like my anxiety levels are very high right now due to stress just with the business and life. But anyway, I always try to get in a meditation at least once a day for 10 to 20 minutes. Now I will drive over to boot camp where I'll train some clients, come home, do my evening ritual, and get to bed. Still got time, folks. 55 to go. Here we go, big Dan. Let's go, baby. Come on. How you feeling, baby? Let's go, Michelle. Strong. I'm up. I just got done boot camp. And if you guys don't have one of these, you're missing out on the best poops in your entire life. just got done shopping at Wegmans last minute it's about 9 o'clock p.m. I cannot wait to go home drink my good night tea finish this video editing put up my first actual vlog on YouTube so if you like this please subscribe I'm gonna try to do these once or twice a week just kind of a day in the life and update you as I go on in my journey I'm actually on a little bit of a budget right now which definitely doesn't make what I'm doing right but I normally would get a lot more organic today I did not get as much organic shame on me um, once I'm making more money I definitely will because I think organic is better long term uh, but I got a ton of eggs I got bacon I got Ezekiel bread Ezekiel muffins there is some Frank's Red Hot in there, original, lower in sodium than the buffalo, even though the buffalo, I think, tastes better. And uh, I got mushrooms, the shrooms, the good stuff. Trippy makes me feel a little loopy. Oh, and how can I forget? I got the coffee. <laughs> yeah, the coffee, baby. Now I'm not going to sleep. Just got back inside, and so I went food shopping, and the one goddamn thing that I went to find freaking forgot and what was that well it starts with pea and ends with butter and if you guessed peanut butter you're gonna win absolutely nothing I was so excited because normally I do my casein pudding and I add peanut butter in there now that I don't have peanut butter it is going to taste the, the consistency of old woman breast milk which I do not find tasty at all if you're wondering how I know about that there are things that you don't need to know about me